Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to remind you of something. You're being deceived. And some people self-deceive. They deceive themselves. They talk themselves out of things. They obfuscate the truth. And they even, sometimes it seems willing, that they allow themselves to be deceived. Why? I want to remind you of something. You had an awakening for a reason. Don't fall back asleep on it. Don't let what other people turn their awakening into. If another person turned their awakening into a cult, then that's on them. But you had your own awakening. It's up to you to be responsible for it. You chose it. You agreed to it. Do the right thing. All right? Don't go back to sleep on it. At the very least, take a pause. Allow all the crap and the truth to come out because it is true that you are not just a human person. You are a multidimensional person. You have facets of your sparkling personality that come from places. You have gifts. Some of them you haven't even opened yet. Just because other people are latched on to a narcissist and it confuses a lot of people and puts misinformation out there doesn't mean you have to be that lemming that runs over the cliff if you got a narcissist and you claim that's your twin huh, you i got news for you that means you're a narcissist too in some ways is that really how this is do people really know how to use a mirror Usually not, because a lot of people are accustomed to doing blame, shame, guilt, codependencies, or addictions, and that is not why you awakened. You awakened to be able to be the person who gets free, who is the one leader in your family who can now break the addictions, who can break the weird codependencies, who can stop all the weird stuff from continuing and continuing if enough of us are doing it we do it we are being the change so how are you denying that some ascension is occurring a lot of people like to talk out of both sides of their mouth like "Ooh, there's an ascension there's a shift and then they deny their own personal one or they're like, well, wow, 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 I guess that wasn't true. Yes, it's true. You're just at the beginning. We just hit the tip of the iceberg in the past 10 years. And I'll say again, just because other people have, don't know what to do, do not let them mislead you. They don't know what to do, so they turn it into a cult. They don't know what to do or how to do it, so they turn it into yet another religion or a branch of some religion or some other, like, why? Why? All of that stuff is ancient history when people didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do with the divine energy flooding the planet at that time. Flood it in, rise up. Flood some more in, rise up. Collectively, humans have been brought along. But individually, you have to do the work with your own brand new light body. Another thing people deceive themselves on, they think because it didn't work out with that narcissist or their spouse or whatever, that somehow it doesn't exist. And I call baloney on that. That's just BS fed to you out there. Other people have not had the awakening you've had. Other people have not had the activation you've had. And you're allowing them to sit in judgment on your experience. There are people doing videos out there saying how crazy you are. And I say they're crazy because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They haven't had a twin flame activation. They haven't felt 5D love. That's the very first thing that happens. You feel 5D love. So don't deceive yourself. Don't say it doesn't matter. This matters. Love matters. Okay? There's a hell of a lot of people who need to be free from all of the stuff that is anchoring them down. But it starts with us. We're the ones that have to infuse love energy. 
Okay, one other thing. The world, your family, your parents. There is a way to communicate with them, to let them know what is going on with you so that they don't worry, okay? You look at these people that they got trapped. They got cult trapped, okay? You look at them and their families are worried. Their families are really worried. You might have people who love you and care about you. I do. I have family. I have friends. They picked up the phone. They're like, hey, did you get hurt by that thing? I'm like, no, because I do the real thing, the truthful thing, the honest thing. And I help people and I help people heal. And I help people ditch all of those old patterns. Yeah, it's gradual. Do you see me with my twin flame? When I'm with my twin flame, you're going to know. What do you think it takes to teach people who are in separation or who've broken up with someone? All you have to work with is your light body and your heart and your high heart and your soul and your team. You got a lot of help and you got me and I'm here to do this. So please don't be deceived. Don't be tricked by misinformation out there. Don't be like tricked by the people that are just trolls on the internet trying to, you know, write articles and, you know, it's out there now. This has gone from a thing, a phenomenon to a thing, to a real thing that people go to psychologists for. And they're like, what is happening to me? I feel crazy. Come on to us. We are the metaphysicians who know how to help you. Thanks so much and have a good day. Bye.